<laughs> well, we got a big show today. It's a freedom to be yourself and say what you want and know oh. that the intent is good. But if you're just trying to make each other laugh and be giggly, then that then it then it takes all the all the bad away. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Your 22nd favorite podcast is back with another episode. They swore that they'd try to bring you quality product this week, but they failed miserably. It's time for balls out with Ben Glees and Brett Hayes. Good afternoon. It's so cartoonish. Yeah. And stupid and ridiculous that I'm. I think it's humorous. We are live. We're live from the Rolling Rock basement <laughs> studio. We're coming to you live from Ben's, coming in hot. Ben's grandma's undercarriage. <laughs> Grandma, if she takes a dump. It's literally like above you. Really? If you were to take off your headphones, you'd hear it. It'd be great if we could pick it up on the headphones. Is there a way that I, we can get into the, the pipes and <laughs> maybe redirect can, them yeah, down could, towards us? I could mic the pipes. No, I don't want to mic the pipes. I want to open up the pipes so that the, the po- her, her poo just falls right on us. And then we're like, wait, like, what? Do I duck or do I not duck? <laughs> Man, what happens if I puke? Oh. Um, you, they both sound wonderful to me. I mean, yeah, we can turn this into just a German oh, porn. German poop dungeon. Yes, exactly. It's you like the stripper pole right there? Only your grandma's poop, though. Mm. There's a stripper pole, and then there's that uh, hang-up uh-huh. bar, but it's a disguise. Uh-huh. It, it's disguised as a hang-up bar. Normally, we hang a yeah. sex swing from it. Oh, we could do that. You could or do pull-ups there. Maybe we could get a uh, sex swing uh, sponsor. Ooh. Sexswings.com. I do have a sponsor. Oh, you do? We, we have a sponsor this week. Oh, okay, well... Before that, uh, speaking of my grandma taking a dump above us, uh, my dad know. used to have my sister and I run to the bathroom when my grandma was in there and just go, <laughs> What the fuck? All right, here That's, we go. We're going to have to dig into that further later. <laughs> okay. Like you your grandma's tri- butt. Ooh. You tried Trojan. You've tried Durex. And you've tried Lifestyles. Maybe your significant other is allergic to latex, and so you've even tried lambskin condoms. Literally. But none of these condoms are giving you all that all-natural feel. Oh. Well, we have the product for you. Do we? This episode is brought to you by bearskin condoms <laughs> made from invisible yet all-natural intestinal membranes of bears. That gives you <laughs> the all-natural feel you've been looking for. Fuck. It will truly feel like there is nothing between you and your significant <sighs> other. Because there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Since the bearskin condoms are made from invisible yet all natural intestinal membranes of bears, invisible, you won't have to worry <laughs> you about. Can't see it. You won't have to worry <laughs> about pesky bills that your parents got from sewage problems from you sl- flushing regular condoms down the toilet. <laughs> 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 That's a reference to me. Yes. <laughs> These condoms do not prevent pregnancy or test STDs, but boy, do they feel great. <laughs> try yeah. ba- try bearskin condoms today with the promo code BALLS to get 0% off your first or future per- uh, purchases. Thank you, Bearskin po- Condoms, for supporting <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> bearskin Condoms. <laughs> Thank you, Bearskin oh, you Condoms. You should get through that stuff without like sounding like you're reading it, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was good, though. Yeah, thanks, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Why shit. Why don't you shut up? <laughs> I wrote that today. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I got sent the copy today. Uh, dude, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 I don't know if uh, damn it I like your beard I don't know <laughs> if you've heard about this but this is going to make things very exciting for the next few days um, speaking of Eric this won't hurt him at all because <laughs> I heard about this very slowly ah. I don't think I Bad. identified it. Oh, when man. You're on top today. of it today, no Justin. Because he can't drink alcohol. The next four he could. Games. That's because the arena's liquor license has been suspended following a violation from back in March. Our Candace Charles tells us how the arena is adjusting its policies moving forward. Candace? Doug, you are right. It, it's a big shocker. This place, Van Arena, is known for good times, good shows, and the occasional up, boner girl? or two dollars. Occasional beer boner. Sale. But for oh. the next game, there won't be any no beer sales owner. because there won't be any alcohol at all. That's make it happen, dude. Go, go! <laughs> 
Wait till you. Hockey and beer Wait till you. Have you heard hand. how this happened? Yes, you're of legal yeah. age, of course. <laughs> if you're of legal age. Relations while alcohol sales at the Van Andel Arena to a sudden halt. A decoy was sent into the arena. Decoy. Uh, the decoy or decoys were able to. Why would anybody alcohol. think that a duck uh, is gonna buy alcohol? This happened during a Griffin's hockey game quack, quack. in March. GRPD conducted the sting. Why does this the the girl sound like she's yelling at us? With the Michigan Liquor uh, License Commission, they did a GRPD <laughs> says the decoys' IDs were checked. I, they were buzz, buzz. Here. The decoys <laughs> that go in look underage. They present them with I, their... That's right. <laughs> that's right, Wade. Oh, oh yes. And policies <laughs> Show in me that by whole way. In these four instances, they did not... Oh. Uh, well, that guy's name is Dick. Procedures. Richard McCain with Van Andel no. Arena. No, Richard. The <laughs> decoys were served by two volunteers and two employees, all of whom were trained on checking <laughs> IDs. Now their actions have cost them their jobs, the arena a nearly $4,000 fine... It's oh, they got fired? ...on the arena's yeah. fairly clean record. The building's been open for 20 plus years previous to this we've had five <laughs> violations in the just 20 imagining plus years. imagining 16 million people come through the do you get Haven't wristbands there yeah. since 2011. i feel like <laughs> you get <laughs> wristbands there too many people coming through the building and a large amount of is that with an o or you <sighs> this is just funny to me to check for compliance the arena sells a lot of alcohol. Yeah. So much of it has to do with quantity. Yeah, dollar as well. beers, dollar dogs. Now that quantity, uh, I think it's $2 now. At uh, least for the next four games. So we're disappointed. Uh, and we're taking strides to continue to improve all of our practices, our policies. Dick and our got dicked. Yeah, he did. Now, there are yeah. some people who have vertical IDs, much like this, and are over the age of 21. If their IDs haven't expired, what? those Stop people will now me. have oh, to get the... their ID checked at Damn, customer I... services by a manager, which we doc. It's been so long since I've been a minor. Hey, wait. Uh, <laughs> that I forgot vertical IDs were a thing. Yeah, so did I. Gosh, dang. Oh, well, man. now you know I'm not sleeping with uh, kids under my age. That's the right way. That's the right way. Thank you, way, but you don't have a life. Isn't they're not old enough. Than you? <laughs> no, same age. Exact. We are... Same um, birthday? Three months apart. Who's older? Me. She's younger than you, then, man. <laughs> Just Hell doesn't yeah. have a vertical license. That's okay. And I still like to make her spread her butt so I can look at her butthole. <laughs> That's what she said. Nope. Put that part oh, out. Ben's going to cut that part out. Don't do no, that. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it in. <laughs> All the ones of people will think that was funny. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> my girlfriend loves Panera. I love Panera. Do you like Panera? Uh, no, Ben. I love Panera. <laughs> We're all part of one big happy Panera family. <laughs> have you been to the one on Alpine? Uh, yeah. They yeah. have those ones. Where they have the screens off to the side where you can build your own sandwich and stuff now. They have now. those like everywhere now. I've been to some that still don't well, have Well, Ben, them. maybe you need to get around less. But <laughs> anyways, so yeah, those are perfect because I just basically keep just the bread and make my own sandwich. There you my go. own chicken sandwich. Oh, I like it's that. It's awesome. I like that. But I never get their macaroni and cheese, but mm. after this video, I just might. Uh, <laughs> I see what you're doing. <laughs> When Panera Bread says food as it should be, should it be mm, frozen? Uh, An employee who posted a video showing how the chain's ooh, popular hot. mac and cheese gets mm. made found herself frozen uh, out of a job. <laughs> no, 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 no. The cat's out of the bag. <laughs> the, the, or at least the mac and cheese is. She just Some compared it put to a frozen bag of mac and cheese into a vat of military hot meals water. Ready to eat. Am and glorified hospital food is what people are calling. But I love it though. So I she, love their mac and cheese. Oh, so you actually had yeah, it? Yeah, it's like having Stouffer's. What do you do okay. with Stouffer's? It's like yeah. you fucking throw it in the microwave for six and a half minutes. Yeah, you think there's people? But I mean, mac and cheese is very rare. I wouldn't expect that to be made fresh. And it's hard to perfect mac and cheese. Like if you're making it order to go not for me. I'm um, just saying, like at a big chain, like where a lot of people are going to be oh, ordering yeah, it. It's like you got to be like checking them but are a lot of people ordering mac and cheese i don't know maybe that's you know they can't just make that shit like oh okay 20 minutes because we have to make noodles and we yeah, have to exactly. get them al dente and this and that like a sandwich that's one thing but yeah but even the like Which the chicken make and stuff do they make the chicken fresh or is that frozen too frozen meat mm, that's probably frozen yeah somehow but it's not they're not putting it in a 
I, I really don't water. care. I don't care. And why know. did this chick lose her me. job? I don't get it. Insider secrets. Uh, I guess. Don't want people knowing that, even though everybody fucking knows that. Maurice, realizing she'd stepped in a gooey mess, <laughs> the employee put her best. My bad. <laughs> I was a mayor that, that day. They're not good. She's fucking I would eat our hot. Mac and cheese to yeah. this day. By the next video, she was crying over her mac and cheese. <laughs> I like my job. I'm really not trying to get fired. She is not so crying. No. Fired she she is not. She is She's laughing. hiding back a little that nail. laughter. Technically, she says she was dismissed yeah, those because fucking having nails, such though, long are ridiculous. nails and my phone out is a risk to food safety. Mm -hmm. Panera Bread wouldn't she address was personnel matters, but confirmed probably a pain that in the ass mac to work and for, cheese or work is with. made off-site with our proprietary recipe. It is shipped frozen to our bakery cafe. Oh, wait, now this you're letting the secret out? No, we better fire Barbara Walters. Not meet our clean I the fuck this hose name Wait is. a minute. Did you hear that? The big deal. No. People thought it was you should fresh. restart the whole video, Ben, video so we can listen to it all again. No, so they're talking about... They're talking about how it... So it's not fresh. Mm -hmm. It's shipped to them packaged. But yet, somehow... Their packaging helps them avoid certain preservatives. I don't know. I don't believe it. Sounds stupid, but sounds I stupid like to it. me. I'm all about it. I will not stop going there. All right. Meh. Question for you. Answer for you. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Really? I do. Have you seen Paranormal Activity? Yeah. Have you ever thought about doing anything like that? Like, have you ever been in a place that feels like it could be actually haunted? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> putting cameras all up in my house. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, there's a there's my a I parents around. <laughs> I uh, I feel a lot of ghost energy in your shower. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Whoa, did someone die in your parents' bed? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never uh lived in a place that I've experienced it, but um, I know people that have two things. Apparently. I told these I told well. I'll, I'll say the the most important one. I told Here this on go. the on the radio, and people actually. I was I was surprised that people actually thought this was nuts. Yeah, not nuts in like oh you're testicles crazy stupid. Oh, yeah, um or testicles, but nuts Ooh. as in like that might be legit. Okay, what are you or it's unexplainable. About? So I was in the bathroom. Yeah, there's no vent by the toilet. <laughs> The window mm, is probably 15 feet away because this is oh. one where it's like a step up to a bathtub. I'm there. I'm there, man. Window's closed. Oh, There's yeah. no overhead vent. Oh, nothing. No vents. <laughs> that window's 15 feet away. I'm taking this is a really long restroom. I'm taking a leak. Oh. Got prepared to get wet. Is there an echo in there, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just pick a different restroom because you didn't like the echo in there because it's 15 feet you long? Look, you look like one of those fake people from seances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so your dong is almost in the water because it's so long, and there's a 15 foot pole between you and the window. That's... You adopted the bathroom. <laughs> I was born in it. <laughs> um, so I'm taking a leak, and no, all of a sudden, leak. the <sighs> toilet paper roll starts unrolling. Oh, no. And it unrolls <laughs> until the end, and then that's it. <laughs> It stops and it's over. <laughs> to most people, the story would seem boring. Uh, did... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just getting off to that. You sure there wasn't a cat in here playing with it? Great story. A little pussy playing, pussy uh. popping. <laughs> Hello, pussy. All right. Well, uh, oh, you're done. <laughs> there, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> fuck that. Uh, there was Wait, a guy. I just want to know why why this thing was 15 feet long. What? <laughs> this restroom. The bathroom. Yeah, it was so long. Like I said, there's the normal. There's a normal bathroom where there's a toilet. <laughs> I'm joking. Please sink. don't okay. explain it again. Right. <laughs> Anyways, there's a guy that thought his house was haunted. All right, let me he close my up, eyes again. He set up stuff oh. to record oh. sounds from over the night, oh. and uh, I need you to oh. stop talking so you can hear these sounds because okay. it's creepy as shit. Are you ready? Yeah. All it was was him farting. I know. I got that. 
I gathered that. Or or it was a really uh, gassy ghost. <laughs> that was the worst setup for anything I've ever experienced. It was so short. <laughs> That's what she said. No, uh, like, Brad yo, Williams. let's go into a five minute conversation about ghosts. And this one time I was peeing, and the ghost just unraveled the whole toilet you paper thing. No. Well, let's watch this 13 second video of this guy <laughs> recording ghosts in his house. Just kidding, it's farts. <laughs> you fucking child. It's hilarious. <laughs> It's funny. Speaking of farts. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> From WPRN, it's time for Channel 11 News with Buster Cummings and Johnny Something on the spot. If they've read about it, you'll hear about it. Hold on to your butts because it's time. Here's the fucking news. There's a new cereal pooper on the loose. <laughs> and this one's in West Michigan. Oh, gosh. Just kidding. It's in the upstairs bathroom. My grandma's really <laughs> She's letting home loose. Already. Did we re- redirect those to my mouth yet? Nope. Uh, I'll work on the pipes for next week. Um, according to a notice posted by a neighborhood association in Macomb County. Hey, and, actually, I have cousins that live there. Uh, this might be them. An unidentified individual individual uh <laughs> aka brett's cousin Visual. Is, <laughs> is secretly defecating in the public pool it ain't no secret no more man <laughs> prompting closures and a search for the person <sighs> responsible uh let's see the person who oversees the day-to-day operations of the subdivision pool released the following statement someone has been defecating in the pool man there's shit everywhere Due to the frequency over the past week, we believe this is intentional. <laughs> no, no, that don't nah. make sense. I mean, kids have accidents. So do adults. Oh, all the time. I've, I have plenty of accidents. Yeah, that one time you were in the bathroom and then you were peeing and then the toilet paper started <laughs> coming down. Oops, my leg hit it and it unraveled. Or the time I was recording uh, or editing audio in the booth we used to share yeah. and I gambled on a fart and lost. And then you had to sit in the chair later. Yeah, you told me about that a couple weeks ago, I think. (laughs) Mm. Uh, I wish wish you would have told me so I could have kept those pants. Oh, yeah. You could have, yeah, you could have dug for the trash. I had to ditch those. Um, Oh? At the present time, we are reviewing attendance logs. Ooh. Ooh, Logs, (laughs) get it? Yeah. It's like a poop log. Attendance logs. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's just a baby Ruth. Oh. Uh, and recorded video. Ooh, they record video. <laughs> They're gonna easily find out who the shitter is. I guess, unless it's Obviously somebody not, actually in the water. But there's then you would mole. notice. Wait, there's a mole. Speaking of moles, I just had. You want to see my back? Nope. Oh, I can't. Here, I, I no, can it's only... cool. I'm good. Come on. I don't want to fucking see it. If you're gonna show me anything, show me your asshole. I had. <laughs> I want to see that brown eye. Ew! That looks I like had, a nipple, dude. You had that on your back? It's a crater. No, oh, it's a reverse nipple on your back. Yeah, they took it out. Ew, you're disgusting. I wish they would have left it in. I'm getting a biopsy done. They're testing Ugh. me for uh, skin cancer. So, yeah. That was great. This is the. F- I, they were like, oh, yeah, we're just going to scrape some off and send it in. And then today I took off the band aid and Ew. saw that. It's it's like the size of a dime. Yeah. And it's it's, a, it's it's probably about a quarter of an inch deep. No, it's not that deep. It's but deep. it's pretty deep. That's it's what like she said. It's like a reverse nipple. Yeah, seriously. Wow. That's mm. a big ass nipple though. Mm. Are you talking about the whole areola? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Rest assured, we are following published guidelines to restore the pool to a safe and sanitary condition. <laughs> We're looking at the the law, the attendance laws. No, I'm, I'm looking at this thing over here. Looking, t- and we're eating the law. <laughs> so Ben has the old free mirror hot wings thing where the some it's guy a made glass their pane window uh, candy or whatever. Yeah, look at the bottom right hand corner, dude. It looks. I think that's Joe, but it's creepy as fuck because everything's yeah. melted except for the eyes and the teeth. Yeah, the marshmallow teeth are still there. That is really oh, creepy. I'm gonna take a picture of that and yes. post it. Let's do I'm it. I'm going to put it right in the Patreon. Oh, hot damn. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Look at me go, Ben. I'm multi-platforming. It says thanks for all the laughs. 
from Scott. Meh. Uh, while you're doing that, I think we talked about this. Let me let me know if this jogs your memory. Men were warned not to rub toothpaste on their penis. Do you remember that? Remember talking about that? Yeah, ah. I remember that. All right. Well, the, oh. the trick is promoted all over YouTube, Reddit, and Steam it. Stop Ooh. it. Steam it. Ooh. That's what happened to the poop at the pool. Um, oh, Ben. Wow. Did you? Did there's you a guy named Story earlier and come up with that joke. No, I Have just you been sitting on that one, Ben. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of, sitting on a log that needs to be attended. Uh, Jose claims that hey, massaging. Hey, what's up, essay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, Hi, he... my name is Mario. <laughs> <laughs> this is my hot wife, Vandy. Hey, her real name's Vandy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times I jerked it to that picture last week. Yeah, seriously. The fuck, it was this week. All weekend long. I wish Vandy would give me a handy. Oh, how many times have you used that? That would be a dandy. Wow. You're yes, a, yes. You're rhyming. Take her to the beach and make that vagina sandy. Oh. Tastes <laughs> like... Normally, it tastes like candy. Um, Got to clean it, so I <laughs> poured on some brandy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just go. Go on with your story. All right. Uh, go on, bitch. John Candy is dead. Um, <laughs> he cl- Jose you. claims that... Mas- I hate you in those jokes. <laughs> ...that massaging toothpaste on the penis will crush premature ejaculation. Oh, wait. Are we doing this as a start? Yes. <sighs> and we're going to film it, and it's going to be mm. like a $6 club for Patreons. Nice. Um... Can I pay six dollars? <laughs> Hell's yeah, just to yes. see mine, mm. my video, uh, to crush premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. Jose also says that the following uh, or that following his advice will make you last for thirty minutes longer. Uh, bro, uh, thirty-two minutes—it's too long. Yeah. Um, but putting it on your genitals, but. you actually risk a mild burn as well as blisters and scarring. Got it. Uh, and toothpaste should in no way be used as a lubricant. Attempting this hack at home could result in painful blisters and burns on the penis. Ouch! Penis hack. <laughs> penis hack. Uh, as well as serious di- discomfort and irritation Come. for whoever's vagina or anus you pop your penis inside. Oh, popping pee-pees. <laughs> ah. Can't do it. Not today. Fish hook. Um, but so that le- <laughs> but. that leads me to this. Ooh. Now women are being warned. Vanessa McKay, consultant gynecologist and what? spokesperson. Was that a sentence? Yeah. What what? For the Say royal- it again, please. What? Now say your sentence again. That's that what? Now women are being warned. Oh, he just said it weird. Ah. Oh, okay. I was, I was waiting for more. Ah. Maybe they're being warned what? I'm about to tell you. Well, now you're starting with a name. Yes, Vanessa McKay. It just McKay. doesn't make sense to me. Uh, she's a consultant gyne- gynecologist. Post, and post show, Ben. <laughs> Edit this out. <laughs> Edit that part out, Ben. Put that part out. She says it is a myth that tooth... tooth ugh. That toothpaste. Edit, edit that part out too, Ben. <laughs> Put that part out. That toothpaste will tighten the vagina. Can we double edit that part in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we make it gay because we pound that puss. Pound that puss. Uh, putting toothpaste into the vagina or on the vulva. Toothpaste. Vulva. Put in that puss. Would not be only uncomfortable, but it could also cause serious damage and disrupt the natural flora of the vagina. Man, that'll make a pussy weep. Yeah. Leading to... <laughs> <laughs> get prepared to get wet. <sighs> they, they're thinking that the toothpaste will make this. This pint-sized pussy. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, Mom. Um, <laughs> oh. Mm. Your grandma's more accessible. <laughs> um, let's see. Does she have any Worthers upstairs, you think? Possibly. 
and mothballs um, <laughs> in her pussy in the vagina the potential for infections like bacterial vaginosis ooh, mm, and yeah. yeast infections yummy uh, I, could, I could go for some bread yum 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 or i eat some bread you give me some head what else is yeast in macaroni and cheese is it i'm pretty sure that's how you make noodles you need yeast don't you i don't know i mean i guess yeah i think okay <laughs> I'm not going to agree to that. I don't, I don't either. Uh, a medical doctor in Nigeria. Be careful how you say that word. <laughs> um, said, ben. said he had seen a recent obsession in women resorting to using toothpaste to tighten up down below. Bless. He even went as far as saying that using the dental product on the vagina could leave women infertile. Bless. No babies, Brett. <laughs> Nice, perfect. Yes, man, I get four whole fucking toothpaste things and I shove them up there. <laughs> Your urethra? No, for the women, I shove ah. them up their pussy. Oh, damn, that's a that's a caper. <laughs> toothpaste is cost. Uh, but that's why you got to put so much toothpaste up exactly. there, trying to tighten that up. Yeah, it's like making a mold. Ah, high and tight, <laughs> <laughs> making a mold. A toothpaste mold <laughs> of the inside of a pussy, and then I I lick it later. And then brush my teeth. It mm. slowly deteriorates. Uh, is your grandma uh, working on that one for us right now? Yeah. Uh, what's her real name, Dorothy? Mm. You merely adopted the toothpaste vagina. Mm. I was born in it. <laughs> nice. Up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's too abrasive for a sensitive body part like the vagina. Sensitive. Oh, no. It's crying. <laughs> and using, <Pan> su <laughs> using such on it can destroy the organisms meant to. I almost, I almost said orgasms. I wish. Organisms <laughs> meant to protect the vagina from possible infections. When the vagina can no longer protect itself, the body is prone to infections, which could, which could lead her. <laughs> which could lead her. One word at a time, friend. Which could later destroy the tubes and block the chances of mm. getting pregnant. Yeah. Gaping tubes. You never played Gilbert Gottfried. Oh, I know. Give me one of those. Let me I, fucking read. Something. I put that in post. Jeez. I just want to fucking read something. You always talk over it and don't even care and go right to your phone. <laughs> so I just... Uh, You're, what the fuck? Did you always give me the two pagers yeah, for. I know, but this is a good one, I think. I'll be the judge of that <laughs> if you let me get through any of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's standing at attention. Well, why don't you shut up? There's at least 14 sentences in this. It should take about 15 That's minutes. That's me standing at attention. <laughs> <laughs> Owner champ, that's me. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna read this title like Ben re read the last one. Ethics lecturer exposed. An ethics lecturer flashes penis at a bedroom that'll blow your mind. <laughs> a blind man at an orgy. I was gonna have to feel things out. <laughs> an ethics. Wait. God damn, I hate you so much. Masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> An ethics lecturer flashes penis at a first-year student and threatened to fail another if she turned down his predatory advances. Ripping balls out of my mind. Ripping balls. <laughs> Michael okay. Montalto also tried to recruit 18 and 19-year-old students to have a threesome with him and his girlfriend, the Victorian Civil and Administrative Tribunal found on Tuesday. What was Wade's buddy's friend in that thing? I don't know, buddy, but 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 uh, the tribunal ruled Mr. Montalto exploited the power at imbalance. Uh, <laughs> Imbalance. <laughs> oh, imbalance. And you give me shit. Mm, yeah, I do. With his students at a university in Melbourne. He can't even read. Which can't be named between June and August 2014. Melbourne. When he was 24 years old, Mr. Throw another penis on the bobby. Perfect. Mr. M <laughs> denied the allegations, but the tribunal accepted the consistent... I don't want to keep saying Mentalto. Mm. Jesus. Okay. Accepted the consistent and believable evidence from five women. Who does accusers, Mr. M work for? <laughs> a male student in his ethics class, a course coordinator, and another staff member. Mm, staff. Jesus, I hate you so much. That's another word for Most penis. of the allegations were made by a student who said she was bombarded with inappropriate texts and calls in 2014. <laughs> I thought it was going to be bombarded with dick. <laughs> <laughs> dick pics, bro. Uh, look, look at this. 
Just look at it. Would you look at it? Do you want a D? <laughs> yeah. He said, if you don't want a D, you got to want this D. <laughs> Ouch. Sorry. That was really high pitched. That was. He <sighs> sent her an intimate photo and solicited photos from her, asked uh, her to write an explicit story about her and another. Her. Another female student <laughs> made her delete her text and call Mr. Mr. M ultimately threatened that he would fail me if I did not agree to his uh, request, though I cannot recall the exact words he used. Back. I know what they were. Yeah. Pizza time. <laughs> <laughs> I understood this to be a genuine possibility. Talk about a river of ejaculate. <laughs> It. <laughs> and that it was within his power to do so. I felt extremely anxious about the prospect of having to repeat the unit and unit, unit. <laughs> and risk ton of semen all over the <laughs> Oh my god! And have, uh, risk having Mr. M as my lecturer again. Uh oh. <laughs> And this was the predominant reason that I continued to communicate with Mr. M and generally did as he asked. <laughs> he told the tribunal she was in uh, different tutorial and he couldn't influence her marks but vcat found that he had uh, the perceived power to do so uh, mr m was this week are you sure it wasn't mr h mr hayes <laughs> leon Hendricks, news eight yeah yeah was this week stood down for an uh, from another university rmit which is now investigating whether another uh, for those who can't see, exploited. Brett's literally <laughs> taking his finger and putting it underneath each word it, as he reads it, this, like it, like it's a bouncing ball at karaoke. This sentence was hard, okay? <laughs> the main complainant had visited Mr. M in 2014 at an RMIT office to borrow a textbook. RMIT. Mr. M then placed his hand at the top Rim of her thigh. Rim my itchy tits. <laughs> at the top of her thigh. And Rim my itchy tank. And said uh, he wanted... Oh, yeah. Quote, to bend over and fuck you. Quote, whoa. That's right, Wade. That's right, Grandma. Aw. In light of the decision, we recognize this misconduct towards students from another tertiary uh, college may have occurred at an MRIT location, uh, some bitch said. The safety and well-being of our students is our absolute priority, and we will therefore be standing down the individual from any uh, future casual employment here and under uh, casual a full and thorough investigation. Thorough investigation oh, that was of the a good penis. Shot. And oh, at end of trimester drinks in 2014, Mr. M was found to have exposed his erect cock to one Ooh. of the women, pinned her against a roller door, and put his hand right up her pussy uh, while she started waited Dick. for her to pick her up. <laughs> her grandma, grandma. Dick. Earlier this month at ethics drinks. Whoa. What's all these ethic people drinking for? It has not ethical. <laughs> At the Lion Hotel in Melbourne, CBD, he had asked one student if she had a boyfriend, if she was a virgin, and which sex Ooh. position she liked to be fucked in. Uh, doggy style. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, That's, I like when they're on their back and you put their legs on your shoulders. That one's nice. I like when they're um, tied up and <laughs> 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 saying no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. I mean consent, of course. Yeah. Like you're talking like, about no, like, in a consensual uh, way. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, where no means yes. Yeah, no is our safe yes word. Means no is our safe word. You know what that uh, that girl was saying when no. she got into class? No, it's all dirty in here. I don't care. Keep going. Shouldn't I wear some sort of protective suit? Why, don't you trust me? <laughs> I do, but our friend Bartholomew went in lots of chimneys in the 80s, and now he's sick. Talking about bud holes. Oh, man, that's pretty much that end of that story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dog feces. Another good shot. Okay, one last story for you and our listeners. <laughs> what? the time um what well, to look at the time a woman causes harassment alarm and distress mm. yeah she was a big girl sir uh leanne uh. 37 years old 
had got along with her neighbor of four years until she approached her. Hey, neighbor, we're friends. While drunk last year. Uh, this time I'm drunk approaching you. You drunk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> At about a little bit of that too. Five forty-five <laughs> p.m. on August thirteenth, the neighbor was at home with their Wait, children. Central time, Rocky, Rocky Mountain time, um, Eastern Standard. Eastern time. Standard. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I said cock. Five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock. <laughs> Um, oh, let's see. The neighbor oh, was at speaking home. Speaking of sitting on logs. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> oh, you got a shit? No. Oh. You I'm actually off? sitting on a log that I got out of your grandma's backyard. Ah, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, <laughs> so. It was just a joke, people. I'm not actually sitting on a log. Ah, 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 ah. I thought my jokes were bad. A boo. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor was at home with her children looking out of her window uh, and saw Leanne uh, falling uh, out of a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I would laugh. Yeah, me too. <sighs> that's, a, that's a long fall out that's, of a taxi. That's a tall taxi. <laughs> she got an SUV. She got Uber Black up in here. Yeah, yeah seriously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, her her partner was trying to pick her up off the floor. Don't you mean? It, it, uh, uh, oh. Wait, floor of the taxi, no. and that's how she fell out. Or the floor of the parking lot, or just the ground? No, it wasn't a parking lot. This was in their neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> neighborhood. Yeah. <Hey>. Um. <laughs> Leanne noticed the neighbor closing her curtains, and so she gestured. Holy. Sorry. What was that? That was my computer. Holy shit. Something finished downloading. Uh, was it porn? Because you shut that pretty quick. No, it, I just didn't want it to you happen just turned again. beat red, Ben. Sorry. Is it porn? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I just shit my pants. <laughs> oh, gosh, dang it. Not really. All right. I'll cut out this part with us not talking so you can play this stupid trap. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Been building up for a while. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about this. <sighs> sorry. There we are. <laughs> uh, Le- <laughs> Leanne noticed the neighbor, uh, neighbor closing her curtains. Me curtains. And so she gestured as if to invite her outside for a fight. Hey, Come on, bitch. Hey, bitch, you uh, fight? Yeah, I can't Egg. fight. I see you through those curtains. Leanne swore and called her a name. Hey, you dumb cunt. <laughs> Jesus. No, he called her a cunt, not out. Jesus. <sighs> <laughs> hey, I see you through the fucking drapes, you cunt. Get over here. Whoa, dropped it twice. See you next Tuesday. Um, I dropped it three times, Ben. Hey, get over here. Come, let's oh. fight. <laughs> uh, um, the neighbor added, Hey, Leanne. Dirty Thursdays, cunt fight over. Oh my God! Sorry, ladies. Uh, Leanne was hanging out, hanging. Okay, here's where it gets good. Out of the taxi? No, Still. no. no, no, no. As he over there, you want to throw it out? Leanne was hanging over the fence. I'm with, on the fence of this one. With her breasts hanging out. Breasts. <laughs> yeah. And this is where it gets even more interesting. I was already really interested. Okay. And then went running towards the house and pulled her skirt up to show her backside to members of the public. Showing her okay, that's member. not the like the really good part, but oh, you just said it was like just there was about to get really good. So mm-hmm. No, that is what you said. Can we rewind the tape, please? Hit that do there. Uh, no. Okay, here's where it gets really interesting. (laughs) Okay, I'm sure. (sighs) Her breasts were exposed Mm -hmm. and hanging over the fence. And a dog was jumping up and licking her at her breasts. Oh, nice. (laughs) He's thirsty. He's a thirsty puppy. Yeah. Mm. Wonder if the dog had a red rocket. Give me them titties. I got a dog. Yeah, you and did, man. Shitting all over the apartment. 
I've had, I, I have to give That's it what a, you get. I have to give it a bath every day I go home from That's work. That's disgusting. He though. hates it. Yeah, I would too, especially because you fucking spell his name wrong. I touch his penis. Mm. I'll talk to him. This is how he sounds. <laughs> oh. You're like, oh, let me just go a little faster. And then I start touching the cat's penis, and he's like, <laughs> come back to me. The cat's got a big penis. Uh, so Leanne immediately pleaded guilty to the offense. Pleaded guilty. Of her breast saying over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's what I meant to hit. Yeah. Um, let's see. And adding that there had been disputes between the two neighbors. <laughs> in, in an interview, Leanne apologized for offending anyone I'm and sorry. said... She, <laughs> sorry my tits are so big. <laughs> sorry that hanged. dog licked my titties. I mm. called that woman a cunt. I got some... I got some very nice tasty nips. Mmm, perky bitches. They're outside nips, unlike oh. Ben's uh, hole on his back mm. from the mole. Oh. Molly, molly, molly. Mmm, reverse nipple. Yes. Episode title. Uh, ooh. In an interview, Leanne apologized for offending anyone and said she was absolutely mortified. I'm mortified my tits are so perky. I'm no longer drunk, and so I'm sorry for what I did. Man, I got off to that dog. Hey, dog, you want to come over to my house and spend some time with me? With the little one over you. Mm. Uh, let's see. The chairman of the bench said, you can't go around acting in the way you have been after having a few drinks. Man. It must be embarrassing for you. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Leanne was fined $300 in order to pay, and ordered her to pay $117 wow. in costs. And a surcharge. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. She was just going to get bigger boobs, too. Now she can't. Yeah. You know what else? Bitch. What else uh, she got charged for? Uh, what's that, Ben? It, it cost her her dignity. Oh, nice. Way to look deeper into that story. Uh, I'm at the Brad uh, Hayes today. And I'm at the Ben Glaze. Tomorrow might be something different. Oh, God. Here we go. That's again. true. Tell two friends about the podcast. <laughs> no, tell three if you haven't. Blow. Uh, subscribe. I don't know why he chose the number two. But. Subscribe, rate, and review the podcast yeah, on iTunes. Oh, give us three and a half. Have you checked? Uh, uh, no. If we've gotten any reviews lately? No, but I will, Ben. Nope, I can't because there's shit internet down here. Right I now. will check. There was shit. I was able to play those videos on my computer. You're lying. Those were online. <laughs> um. Oh, because you're not connected to our Wi-Fi here. Huh. I'll have to give you the password next time. Yeah, uh, let's whatever. See. I I'll need just get to... it next time I'm here visiting your Jima. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Dude, you're too slow. I found him already. Nope, June 28th was the last time. Son of a bitch! Ouch. So tell two friends about the podcast. Tell Make three, them... though, really. If you yeah, have seriously. three friends, do it. Make them subscribe, rate, and review the podcast so we can have something to do next time. Yeah, when, like Ben's idea that's been working so well. Email us, you know? It's yeah, glazeandhaze really well. at gmail.com. Uh, if you can relate to any of these stories, hey, maybe you've uh, tried putting uh, uh, toothpaste on your penis here, mm, vagina. Maybe you have a reverse nipple. Yeah, maybe you've gotten so drunk that you let dogs lick your lick your breast. Maybe you called that one woman a cunt. Who oh, knows? Jeez, man. Yeah, maybe mm. maybe your grandma shits really loud, and then mm. your dad makes you go to her bathroom door and you go push it out, grandma. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on that tonight. Let's hold hands so you can push harder. <laughs> um, check out the Patreon for post uh, bonus post show podcast. <laughs> <laughs> at patreon.com slash glaze and haze and once again thank uh, you to bearskin condoms yeah. for supporting the podcast yeah thanks yeah <laughs> it was a real barn burner of a of an ad read wasn't yeah, it? it was better than your first one uh, what was my first one the, that scripted bullshit oh yeah go to manscape.com <laughs> uh, use promo code d and totally o one. Okay. this one will, this one will actually do something you get 20 percent off yeah. your, yeah. your order yeah uh, free shipping yeah. just enter the code free beer no d and o. oh dando yeah, Dando. Yeah, capital. It's it's uh, D A N D O. Uh, it's a capital D. It's case sensitive, so you're gonna want to put a space in between you, every letter first, too. Have you gotten that yet? So you're not mm. using the same shaver for your pubes and no, your face. No, I usually just um, do the pubes and then I'll eat the hairs out of it and then do my face. 
What makes it extra creepy is your mustache. So you're shaving uh, your face to have a creepy mustache. Uh, do you shave the pubes first or the the beard first? The uh, face. I do them both at the same time. Oh, you like mix it up? Yeah. Like, ooh, I'm going to save shave one ball. I do half and half. A half, half up here, half down there, half ah. up here, half down there. You ever do half and then leave it uh, no. and then hook up with somebody? <laughs> no, I don't really. Please, come on. Yeah. Do it once. Um, uh, okay. Come on. Wait, are Just... we talking mustache or? <laughs> no, both. Where <laughs> where you shave half your face half and then body. one ball All and right. then you hook up with somebody. Deal. Will you help me shave my ball? And then, yeah. Well, I'm getting out of here. How I'm... is the dating life going? <laughs> it's not. I'm married to my work bed. The beavers I've seen are bigger. Yeah, that's why I need toothpaste to tighten them up. Uh, <laughs> this has been, been uh, one... Uh, it's Bun Ben. Bun Ben, one big old Ben Burner. A beast of an episode, but yeah, it is. Uh, based on what we've talked about, I'll say it's been a yeast of an episode. Oh, I see what you did there. Hi-ya! Pussy pretzel. Pussy pretzel. Pussy pretzel. Pretzel? Pussy pretzels. I think ah. you need yeast for pretzels. Don't do toothpaste to tighten up, ladies. Pretzels. Do kegels. <laughs> or pretzels. Yeah. Salt. Wait, what's the name of this episode? Reverse, Reverse nipple? nipple? Okay. Jinx. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye, fuckers. Doo-doo, bud. Oh boy, that's awesome.